means. Trust me, football is right. football. At what level? And I wish to God um, they would know that, especially deriving from HBCUs. Man, those are wonderful coaches that we coached against. And I'm right. telling you, I know, man, some of those kids can play right. and be dominant in Power Five football. I'm telling you what I know. Mm-hmm. And coach, well, scheming wise, schematically, watch what Coach Dancy does this season. Hmm. Oh, by the way, he he's your outside linebacker coach. Let, let's run with that, okay? Yes. Look, I had, listen. I had already told everybody. I say, look, I done seen them boys out there. He was a former head coach, a guy that's one of the smartest guys on the staff that just needed opportunity. And guess what happens? He got opportunity. You talk, man. When I tell you, Vincent Dancy is shoot. Like he that. will be a coordinator one day somewhere, then consequently a head coach. He is like that and then some. So I'm thankful. You know, I love Nick. Now, you got to understand I love Nick. This is not an insult to Nick. But Vincent Dancy, shoot. Ask anybody. No. Ask, coach, ask Coach Kelly, anybody in that staff and room, what he brings to the table every yeah. day. Yeah. yeah. One of the most intelligent coaches and can recruit and just shoot. When he talks to the team, when I put him up in front of the team, you could tell he was a head coach. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. And demands attention, and he ain't stuttering or stumbling. He got it. And a nice fade. Yeah, let me ask you this. All right. Yeah. I could I could go ask a question that's probably everybody's looking to find out something about the offensive coordinator and the offensive line. Where what, what direction are you looking to go uh, through there? Well, offensive coordinator, we're going we're gonna to be all right. I promise you that. And uh, we're, we're good. We're good there. Offensive line position has already been filled. Uh, I, I, I give you guys a name. That's already been filled, and we are straight. Trust me, a uh, guy with plenty of experience, uh, plenty of wherewithal, able to communicate to through through all the kids from top to bottom. Uh, track record is, is, is wonderful. Where he derived from is uh, – a tremendous power five. And I love everything about it. When he interviewed with me, he knocked it out of the park and uh, he's ready and prepared. As a matter of fact, he's already in house. <laughs> okay. Okay. You said, you, okay. said, you said you're straight at the offensive coordinator. Okay. So does that mean you're going to retain coach Pat Shermer or you already. That's got- likely. That's likely um, that that would happen, but you, you gotta hold on. You just, you just, you just gotta hold on. You just, you just don't know. You gotta hold on. But let me tell you something about Coach uh, Sherman. Pat is, is phenomenal. I don't know if you noticed or you took notice of the conclusion of the season. We played tougher games. Um, we, uh, people got to Shador less. Um, we and we ran it more. Yeah, yeah. It was a little more balance. Um, at playing tougher teams early mm-hmm. on. Um, I don't know if the teams were as tough as yeah. it was backside of the schedule. Yeah. So I yeah. applaud uh, Pat for coming in and, and implementing things, and that wasn't even his scheme. So you got to right. applaud for commanding respect, commanding the offensive attention, and uh, doing what he did. Don't criticize a person because of what you heard about yesterday, because yesterday is not today. Okay, so don't criticize Coach Shermer um, because of what you think that transpired at the NFL level um, years and years ago. Because I think all of us on this call right here and all the people that are watching has garnished a second chance in some capacity. (laughs) uh, We've done well with it. That's why we're here right now. Coach Shermer is a wonderful man who's who's respected by the the entire staff as well as the team. And if uh, that's the direction that I'm going, I'm real comfortable with it. Any other 